Can I ask, in terms of preparation for leaving school and moving into the world of work or into higher education, how do you think this project has contributed to helping prepare your learners for that, that transition? Um, I would like to think, I think you'd need to ask the pupils themselves, but I would like to think it's helped them to be more independent learning, knowing where information is and how they can go and access it. Um, they know that, but they don't often actually have the opportunity to do that um, or to be encouraged, shall we say, to go and do that. Um, so I think it perhaps would get them over that initial stage um, of, of more independent research. Um, and then having a blog, looking back and say, yeah, I've done quite well here, I have worked hard. They can see, because you, all the posts are highlighted, um, each date, it gives them, they can look at it and, and we can look at it as well and see that the work has been consistent. It's mm -hmm. not just a mad dash towards the exams, you know, mm -hmm. partying all the time and then doing all the hard work couple of weeks before, you can see really consistent, dedicated work, mm -hmm. which I think is very It's the opportunity for the learners to develop a narrative of their, pro yes. of their, of their, of their progress. Yes, absolutely. And the other thing, which is the first time we've used this year, I don't know if other tutors have used it, we all have a few UCAS tutees at the school, and I have, one of my tutees has actually used a link to her blog and her personal statement, which I think is a terrific area that um, opens up a huge um, window for admissions officers to look at pupils that are applying for courses in a much, much wider context. To enrich that yeah, limited yeah, work count yeah. statement by offering links to it, all manner yes, of, of it, and it doesn't evidence. It, you know, it doesn't even have to be just the classwork, it could be what else they're doing outside school yes. to show the whole person, which is not really, you can't do that in 4,000 characters. Sort of more independent about it because we have to do the blog ourselves. So I suppose it's improving our independence on research and keeping up to date ourselves. Mm -hmm. So being independent, do you feel you've taken ownership of it as opposed to being expected by the teacher that you do it? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Is it something you, you choose to do now or do you do it because you have to? I quite enjoy putting the posts up because you know other people are seeing your work and hopefully they're appreciating it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about yourself, Natasha? What do you think? Do you, do you think that you think it's a good way to be part of a sharing culture? Or? Yes, it's been good. It's helped me think of ways in which I could tell my fellow peers like feedback of what I think of their mm -hmm. things like going on at university and things. Um, so it's helped me in that way.